Hey guys, my name is Jesse from freehotwater.au. I hope you're doing well. So this is going to be my biggest, best video ever. It's going to be my Magnus Opus and I've been working on this video for the past two weeks. What is this video about? This video is going to be a comprehensive guide on the best heat pumps in Australia. It's going to talk about the Victorian Energy Upgrade Scheme, the Energy Savings Scheme, and the rebates and subsidies that are available to get these systems. It's also going to compare the systems uh, with an irrefutable metric uh, that is measured by the government to actually calculate the energy savings that these systems have. And the results that they have are actually very surprising. Not to me, but to a lot of the online warriors out there. What we find is that Ream, iStore, Reclaim, all these systems actually don't really even hold a candle to the Ecogenicas, Medeas, and Emerald Energy Planners. These so-called cheaper systems that are supposed to be inferior in efficiency and quality actually far outperform, sometimes very far outperform some of these other systems. So we're going to jump into the details. I'm going to show you all the proof and, and it's all in the pudding basically um, of everything that I have gathered. So let's start with uh, number one, the number one problem. So. If you don't know if this is your first introduction to any of this, you can check out some of my YouTube channels, but uh, some of my videos on my YouTube channel. But basically, you're able to upgrade your hot water system in New South Wales and Victoria. There are great subsidies available. Some of these systems are very, very cheap. A heat, a heat pump without subsidies can cost anywhere from five to seven thousand dollars. With subsidies, they can cost anywhere from thirty-three all the way up to two thousand dollars. Um, all the way up to even more than $2,000 actually, depending on what system you're looking at, you can easily get a system for $6,000 under, under, like with a subsidy, with multiple subsidies. And I'm going to be showing you and explaining to you in this video why that's not a good idea. Um, so the first thing we're going to have a look at is the Victorian Energy Upgrades Program. You can see that they regulate the VEU. They regulate the products to provide confidence in the benefits delivered to consumers and a balanced, transparent and efficient program for participants. So basically, the government is measuring all the systems. They're measuring the annual energy savings that these systems have so they can attribute certificates. In this case, this is specifically for the Victorian Energy Upgrades Program. Obviously, it's going to be pretty much the same for uh, New South Wales. I'm not sure if New South Wales have their own uh, register, but uh, we're going to use this register to actually compare the energy savings that these systems have. One of the issues in the industry of heat pumps is that everyone claims to have their own COP, uh, but they're all using different metrics. And I'm just going to show you an example of that now. If we look at an Ecogenica, um, it, they say the COP for the 290 liter is 5. Okay, what is that based off of? The recovery rate is 40 degrees. Uh, it's a 40 degree rise, 20 degree ambient temperature, 55 degree final temperature, um, that and the settings here, uh, inlet water temperature 14 degrees. Okay, so that's what it's based off of. You might see the COP of Sandon and think immediately, hey, this is 5.96, that's a bigger number than five, this must be better, but that's actually not the case. The actual average annual COP of Ecogenica, as we're going to see, is actually more efficient than uh, Sandon. But because of the way that they've measured, measured COP, because it's at a warmer ambient temperature of 32.45 degrees, it looks like this is a better system. Reclaim also has a similar um, thing. They say they've got a COP of, uh, I believe it's five, yes, on this website, which is based off of 32 degree, degrees ambient temperature, but they actually haven't provided the inlet temperature or any of the other details that we need to actually fairly compare these. So that's the problem with measuring COP at face value. COP is a good metric. It means uh, it's a multiple of how much more efficient your system is than a standard electric system, or in other words, uh, one kilowatt of electricity will produce 5.96 kilowatts of heating equivalent energy um, that would have been you know if you use 5.96 uh, with an element that's what that means um, with, without any theoretical heat loss the COP you're getting is 5.96 but it's seasonal so that's what the registry clears up so the engineers the good engineers uh, at the Victorian registry they have to actually compare these heat pumps 
and they have to predict the energy savings that you'll get over a year. And that's what is used to produce the certificates. So the more energy savings that you have, the more certificates that they provide in order to incentivize those more energy saving products. So uh, something that has a, uh, a larger energy saving is gonna have more VEEKs attributed to it. And it works the same with STCs and it works the same with energy saving certificates too. The more efficient your system, the more subsidies you'll get for getting that system. This is why it's exciting because you would think that the best system is going to be the most expensive, but actually the best system is the company which um, decided to mass produce these systems and design them in such a way that they get the most subsidies out of them to make them very, very cheap. And we're about to see the result of that. So if we just sort by the zone four annual savings, this is uh, all based on zone four, but obviously whatever zone you're in, it's not really gonna make much of a difference. And we sort by descending. We're gonna see uh, the top 13. So we, like all the, all the information is here. Uh, if you stick around and I recommend you do, cause there's gonna be lots of juicy content and even a dishonorable mentions at the end. Um, but we're going to have uh, in-depth breakdowns on the systems, the features that they have, right? Because these systems, even though the warranty, uh, even though the efficiency is not as good as, as other systems might be, you know, it does come with a Wi-Fi controller, it features different warranties. This is information that you rightly deserve to know before you make a choice uh, or any purchase decision as a consumer. So stick around. I'm also going to be talking about the pricing of the units um, that I've been able to found off of Quotes Online. So you can... Feel free, you can download this information yourself. Um, it's, it's super easy to download. Um, just follow the websites that I've visited and you can, you can easily download this yourself. I'm also gonna make everything available off of my website, freehotwater.au. So if you wanna check that out, you can download my own spreadsheet that I've created, uh, which also includes COP and uh, also this, this uh, PowerPoint. So, uh, the registry doesn't actually include COP, but I've included it here as a calculation. It's very simple. It's just one divided by one minus the annual average savings uh, of zone four. So we can see number one, we have Ecogenica, Emerald, Madeira. These are all the, um, I guess, the budget options, you could say. Uh, then we have Sandin, which I believe is quite a good unit. Um, but there's going to be a caveat. There's going to be a bit of a caveat with Sandin because even though it's a good unit, Sandin appears over 19 times on this registry. So if you think you're getting the 250 system at the top of the register, you might actually not be. You might be getting one of the other systems. They've got some other systems as well. You know, you've, they've got uh, this one. You know, you've got lots of different systems available. So this is gonna be a recurring theme. Uh, even though you you might see uh, the system you want to get places highly on this list, you really want to make sure that the model number you think you're getting is the model number you're actually getting. Because you might be dealing with a company that's trying to get rid of old stock or models, or they might not be producing the top model for whatever reason. Um, that's a massive caveat. There's a big discrepancy in these units, um, especially what I was able to find online. One final note, you'll notice that I have an E next to some of these listings. These were double listings with electric booster options. Uh, I've just made them one uh, row. So this can or cannot come with an electric booster option depending on if you want. Just one note on electric booster options with heat pumps. There is a common myth that if you have a heat pump with a booster and the heat pump breaks down, that the element, on, uh, the element or the booster will be enough to heat up your hot water system. It's not going to be. The reason for that is for a hot water system that's about 300 liters, you will have a element of either 4.8 or 3.6 kilowatts. That's a big element to heat a big system. These systems that come with boosters, the boosters are not actually designed to heat up the entire system. You'll be paying a lot of money to heat up the system and it's not the heat is not going to stay very well. So you're going to be using a 1.8 kilowatt booster to heat up a hot water system. It's just, it's not gonna work after the element's gone. It's gonna keep your water just warm at best. So the booster is actually not as good as it seems. It's also gonna make your system more expensive. It's why systems like Sandin and Emerald, which do cost thousands of dollars, don't typically come with boosters. There's, there's no booster options. 
uh, the booster is not a good idea. It's going to make your system much more expensive. So if, even if this says, hey, you're going to get 79.8% savings, whenever you use the booster, that's going to drop down dramatically. So just be cautious before you decide to get a system with a boosted model. All right, that being said, I think that is everything. We can jump into the uh, reviews. All right, kicking off at number 13, one of the most expensive heat pumps on the list, we have a Reclaim Energy, specifically the REHP CO2 250 stainless steel EW version two heat pump. They all have weird names like that. This is ranked number 13 on the list that I've shown you before. So this comes with a tank capacity of 250 liters, stainless steel. Reclaim offer a glass line tank with a shorter warranty and inferior efficiency, but it is slightly cheaper to get. Um, but you will see different uh, efficiencies. So some of these systems actually have a similar uh, heat pump, like these two for example, but different settings and different uh, tank material and different configurations will mean that the actual energy savings you get from these tanks are going to be different. Which means you should really be careful the heat pump you're getting is correct. I'm going to keep repeating that. Um, but yeah, so we have an average COP of 4.167 and an yearly energy saving of 76%. The operating temperature negative 10 to 43 degrees. I've included the operating temperature here, but if you're in Victoria or New South Wales, there aren't a lot of places that go below any of these heat pumps or above any of the heat pumps. Um, you're not really going to have any issues in Australia. Booster, no booster, these systems all work fine. Um, you, don't, you don't need a booster, uh, even if it's negative zero degrees. It's definitely not necessary. I mean, you can see Reclaim negative goes to negative 10. Emerald goes to negative uh, 15, even without the booster. Um, Sandon does quite well as well. It's definitely not required, just to clear that up. Um, yeah, so in Australia, it's not really gonna be an issue, but I've included it in case you want to uh, have a look. The warranty, so you get a six year warranty on the tank, and then it's prorated for nine years, meaning that for at the beginning of the prorated term, you're paying, they're paying 100% for the warranty. At the end of the prorated term, they're paying, uh, uh, you're paying 100%. So as time passes, your percentage that you pay goes up, their percentage goes down. Um, halfway through, it's 50 50. You get only two years labor on the tank, which is actually not as good as um, a lot of the other systems. On the compressor, you get, you get quite a good warranty. You get uh, six years on the compressor, six years labor. Um, it uses CO2 as a refrigerant. Uh, it's got a GWP of one. Uh, GWP stands for global warming potential. And that's pretty much a multiple. So most of these systems have about uh, a one kilogram, probably a bit less of refrigerant. Um, CO2 is very innate and it doesn't uh, pollute a lot. So one kilogram of CO2, it's not a huge deal. Uh, some of these systems have R134A, which is supposed to be scheduled out next year, but it's got a very high GWP. So if one kilogram of this substance was released, it'd be the equivalent of 3.81 tons of CO2. So if, if you care about that, um, definitely avoid the R134As. Um, again, I don't, I think it's overstated as an issue because this is only really an issue if there's a leak in the tank, which is pretty unusual. And if you dispose of your tank in a careful manner and you use a licensed plumber uh, or fridge to do that, you're not gonna have any issues there. But that's something to be in mind. It's got low toxicity to humans. Um, but I don't, th I don't think it's gonna be a massive issue. Uh, this also comes with a Wi-Fi controller, which is, Great. I mean, you can have a Wi-Fi controller on your hot water system. There are some people that really want it, and good good for them, I suppose. Like, if you always want to check on your hot water. Personally, I'm more of the opinion that you should set it up once and then forget about it. You don't need to check on your hot water every every day, every hour. Make sure it's doing all right. Uh, it's just not necessary, in my opinion. If this is a necessity for you, uh, Reclaim does offer that, uh, and it comes with a five-year warranty. 
Uh, this is ranked number 13 on the list. And so in terms of pricing, I was unable to find the specific model. The closest unit that I could find was the 250 liter stainless steel tank. Um, it varies a lot in terms of performance. Um, and I can find you the exact figure. SS2, SST, Reclaim. Interesting. Just looking for SST, no big. This is fun, isn't it? This is the one that I was able to find. So the Reclaim um, CO2 250 SST, they obviously have a version two, but the version that I found online that uh, companies were selling uh, was completely different with obviously a far worse, this is ranked 93rd on the list versus 13th. So massive difference. Make sure you're getting the right one. If you do decide to go with Reclaim, uh, I was quoted 5,600 after STCs and um, uh, Eskies in New South Wales and 5,800 after Eskies and STCs. Sorry, after STCs and VIX in New South, in Victoria. You might also be eligible for, it's confusing, lots of different subsidies. You might, also, you might also, if you're in Victoria, you might qualify for a third subsidy as well called uh, Solar VIC. Um, I, it's probably available for this unit, which could take up to $1,000 off uh, of, of this price. This is extremely expensive. Uh, I mean, we install an Ecogenica 215 liter for um, $33 in New South Wales and uh, now like from 1,000 to 1,500 in, um, in, in, South Wales, in Victoria, depending on uh, your system. And you're getting better performance out of it and a pretty good warranty. Um, it, it, it's very expensive. It's going to be up to you if you want to spend more on that. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I'll show you the conclusion now that you draw, I've drawn from this video. Um, you probably would agree, but uh, the pros of paying for a higher price system is you may get an additional one year warranty on the compressor. So some of them have six years and you may get an additional one to three extra on the tank um, before it gets prorated. The cons are it's five to six thousand dollars more expensive and worse efficiency unit. So you'll get a lot of people uh, online, internet warriors, um, saying, oh, it's not gonna be worth it because down the line it's gonna break. These are good quality systems, all the same. So some of them are good quality. Um, I, I believe the Ecogenic is really good quality and my own company, we provide good, really good service uh, for that. You can check out our reviews on Google. It's, it's four or five stars right now. Um, I just don't see how $5,000 to $6,000 more expensive could be worth it in, in any universe. But I'll let you decide that for yourself. That's fine. I'll, I'll remain unbiased. So the next system is number 12. We have the Emerald Energies system. So this is the EEHWS RCH P200-1. There is also a 200 um, that shows up later in this list. Um, I, so when I was quoted for this, I wasn't actually able to see what uh, system I was getting. So just be aware of that. Uh, this is a 200 liter tank, uh, suitable for probably three, maybe four people. Tank material is vitreous enamel. You get a COP of 4.184 and an annual saving of 76.1. Uh, the warranty is seven years in the tank, five in the compressor, two years labor. It's quite a good warranty. Obviously it does have the GWP um, of 3,810 due to using a toxic um, refrigerant, uh, R134A. But uh, it does come with an electric backup option. Uh, I was only really able to find units with electric backup, interestingly. Uh, be wary of the backups. They will cost you more money over the long run uh, if you use the backup whatsoever. It's not gonna be very good to heat up your hot water after the compressor breaks down eventually, which should be, you know, it should be about 10 to 12 years. Um, that's, that's the average lifespan for an air conditioner. I was quoted 1470, including GST for an electric outdoor swap over after Eskies and Air STCs in New South Wales. In Victoria, I was quoted 1700 after VIX and STCs, but with Solar VIX, I was quoted 1200. I wasn't able to ascertain if I was getting the 200 or 200-1 from the supplier, 
and there's quite a large difference between the performance of these models. Um, you can get a 4.184 uh, COP or COP of 3.344. Uh, um, just, just want to note, um, this figure is actually for not the 200 model. Uh, Emerald came out with another model. I think these are their newer models, but obviously the older model they have, uh, some people might still have stock of that model and the COP of that model is not as efficient. So make sure you know what you're getting. Uh, make sure you know the model number um, so you're not getting an out of, out, outdated system. Uh, Medea. So Medea, you probably recognize. Um, they used to be Chromogen Medeas. Uh, they still are. Those are single units. Um, 280 liters or 170 liters, they're, they're the slimline tanks. Um, those have a pretty bad reputation, um, lots of shoddy installs and um, pretty poor after warranty support. But I believe the new Medea model is uh, actually pretty good. I haven't been able to see one for myself yet, uh, but the specifications are obviously really, really good. The only thing with Medea is you're not getting a very good warranty. Um, you're getting five years on the tank, three on the compressor, um, three labor, which is not too bad for, uh, no, so it's three on the tank, one on the compressor. So yeah, the warranty is really not very good. It doesn't hold a candle to any of the others on this list. So while the performance of Medea is good, I warn against them. Uh, they also have the R134A refrigerant being used, um, but don't, don't confuse this for the, the single unit systems. Uh, so here's what I was quoted. Uh, the Chromogen will charge extra for RCBO upgrades, required valves, concrete slabs, picking up your old tank, anything. So uh, even though it looks pretty cheap here, it's gonna end up being more expensive. And we actually do Ecogenica, which is, uh, in my opinion, and the registry's opinion, uh, a, a, you know, a better system, a better warranty, better after cu um, customer service and, and care. So, uh, and, and it's also cheaper. But uh, I was quoted 400 from Chromogen after Eskies and SDCs, and I was quoted um, in Victoria 998 after VIX and SDCs, and after Solovic, I was quoted $499. Uh, these are Sandon units, uh, the first appearance of Sandon, the next one's Sandon 2, they rank number 10 and 9. No, the next one's not Sandon, but a couple ones down to Sandon, uh, two Sandons. My apologies. Uh, so Sandon has a great warranty. They have 10 years on the tank and five years prorated and six on the compressor, which includes labor. So they have one of the best compressor warranties around, uh, matching Reclaim, six years on the compressor uh, and including labor, which is quite impressive. The COP is 77% uh, percent, um, and well, impressive because you're paying five to 6,000, but the COP is 77%, sorry, 4.348 and the energy saving is 77%. Use the CO2 as a refrigerant, um, one of the best refrigerants to use. Uh, obviously CO2 is, uh, has a GWP of one because that's what you're measuring it against. Um, it's very safe as well, CO2. Comes with a Wi-Fi controller as well. So if you're bored, play with your hot water. Uh, Sandon, uh, I wasn't able to find this model, so um, it, this might be a new model that's not available yet. So after ESCIs and STCs, I, was, I got 5,700. Um, and after VX and STCs, 5,800. You can probably get solar victims too. Uh, but th this system was right 29th. Uh, they've got really good performance, strong warranties, but obviously super, super expensive. Uh, and I, I think that makes it not worth it. You, you get an extra four years of warranty, basically, for uh, an extra four years um, labor. Uh, so you get an extra four years labor and an extra one year on parts by paying, you know, up to five thousand dollars more. It's very expensive. Um, it, it's sort of a no-brainer in my opinion. Um, this is Emerald, uh, Emerald Energy System. Uh, so this is a three hundred liter unit, vitreous enamel, four point three four eight COP, seventy seven percent energy savings, seven years on the tank, five years on the compressor, two years labor. Um, same refrigerant as the early model. It's ranked number nine on the list. And it, I was quoted 1661, so slightly more expensive than the 200 liter model. Um, and it does come with an electric booster option as well. I was only able to be quoted for the electric booster. Uh, so that's 1661 after ESCIs and STCs, and 1700 after VIX and STCs, and 1200. Um, so the same price in Victoria as the 200, 300, and the 220 liter unit too. Make sure you're getting the, the right unit. 
Uh, this is Ecogenica. They used to have a 155 litre unit, sort of too small to be practical, only fit for one, two, maybe even three people. Uh, but this is no longer being produced, but it did make the list. So 155 litres, vitreous enamel, 77.1% energy savings over the year, uh, and seven years on the tank, five in the compressor, two years labour. Um, GWP is 0 0.02, very, very low. So GWP, uh, all these um, figures are standardised over a 20 year time frame. Uh, propane actually breaks down very, very quickly, so uh, that's why it has such a low um, uh, GWP. So it's, it's actually very good for the environment. Um, propane is, is um, a naturally occurring compound as well. Uh, Emerald Energy, 220 litres. So I was super impressed with Emerald, um, to be honest. This is their, uh, the only single unit system to make it in the top 13. Uh, it is a 220 litre unit, vitreous enamel. Uh, you get a COP of 4.464 and an average annual saving is 77.6 uh, from negative 7 to 40 degrees. You get five years in the tank, five years of compressor, two years labor, so slightly worse warranty than uh, their split unit systems, which come with seven years in the tank. Uh, but it uses R290, which is actually quite a good uh, refrigerant, instead of R134A, like their other systems. Whew. And it comes with a Wi-Fi controller. So good for those rainy days. Um, it comes with a boosted option as well. There's a massive caveat here. I like this system. I want it to be true. But... This is something that Emerald's done, and I don't know if it's intentional, but it seems sneaky to me. The A1220 appears seventh on the list with a COP of 4.464 and a savings of 77.6. The 220-1 is ranked 72nd. It comes with a COP of 3.6 and an energy saving 72. It's just a, a, a slight difference in, in the name. 220, where, where is it? There we go. Right, number seven. But a massive difference in uh, efficiency. So this looks like the best single unit available, but it depends on what you're getting. Because if you're getting the dash one, it's not. And I was unable to ascertain from the company quoting me what I was getting. So they don't even know what system they're giving you. I don't know why that's happening. Um, but if that is the case, then you'd be better off with some of the other single units available. Um, which are generally just, just better. So Ecogenic has a 260 litre unit, which has better performance. Um, I, I find it interesting. Uh, hopefully they are selling the 220, um, but yeah, I, I find that confusing. I wasn't able to clear that up with the manufacturer, but I, if I do, I'll probably make a video or, or update the blog. Uh, this is the 215 litre Ecogenica. This is one of the biggest systems that we, that uh, FreeholdWater.au, my own company, um, actually installed. So this is ranked number six in uh, Australia. It's got a tank capacity of 215 litres, suitable for three to four people. Uh, tank material, vitreous enamel, COP of 4.464, and savings 77.16. Uh, it's got a seven year warranty on the tank, five in the compressor, two years of labor. Uh, shameless plug here, but if you look up free hot water dot au um, if you look it up on google we have 65 star reviews um, so we're rated very highly we're uh, the top rated installer for these units so if you do want to get an ecogenica uh, or you do want to get a heat pump i do recommend you go through us um, use the promo code jesse <laughs> discount maybe there'll be some sort of discount i don't know um, but 215 liters um, at the moment um, it's a very good system and uh, the price for new south wales as of uh, November 1st, it's going to be changing. So uh, it's actually November 13th today. But uh, next year, the price is going to increase. I'm not sure by how much, um, but uh, the price will, will be changing. So it's $33 currently, and we're starting at $1,200 in uh, Victoria after VIX, STCs, and Solovic rebates. So if you're curious, uh, feel free to give us a call, or you can submit a lead form on freehotwater.au. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Sandon, uh, another Sandon on the list. The next one is Sandon 2. Uh, this is the 315 stainless steel, 4.545 COP. Uh, and obviously all the same information as before in terms of warranty. Uh, uh, so I was able to find a 315 litre system um, for $5,700 in New South Wales after ESKIs and STCs. 
And in Victoria, off the VIX, NSD says 5,800. Obviously, you could get this with Solovic too. And this is very much the same, except it's the 250 liter unit and slightly cheaper, $100 cheaper, um, because it's a smaller capacity. Again, not able to find the same uh, exact model. So just be careful about what you're getting. Um, the uh, ranks number three, the 300, uh, the 200 liter unit. Uh, so 200 liters, 4.739 average COP, uh, a uh, annual average saving of 78.9, which is great. Uh, but again, the warranty and is not great. Uh, it was quite a $33 in New South Wales and $0 in um, Victoria if your system is electric and outdoor. Uh, but that is before any uh, potential charges, so they do, do, do charge. They do charge for switchboards, uh, upgrades, RCBO valves, concrete slabs, picking up your old tank. So the price ends up being more expensive than anticipated uh, often. Emerald Energy, uh, 200 litre unit, uh, rank number two. Uh, Vitreous enamel 4.95 COP, very high, 79.8% energy, en annual energy savings. Um, big discrepancy between this and the 200-1, just make sure you know what you're getting. Uh, it does come with electric backup option. Uh, I was quoted 1,200, including GST for electric outdoor swap over after Eskies and STCs. And Victoria, I was quoted 1,470, including GST for electric outdoor swap over after Eskies and uh, STC rebates. Um, you may be able to find better prices for this. Uh, this is just, uh, I believe, I would call uh, maybe Astro Green or um, Astro Green and E Green Electrical. Uh, but there are, there are tons of companies that do Emerald Energy. I think we're going to start doing them soon as well. Um, I think they're good systems. Um, but uh, but yeah. And then finally, we have the Eco Genica 290 liter, the most efficient system in Australia. Um, I I said that a lot. Uh, on Facebook and, and no one well people believe me but the internet warriors don't believe me uh, but the truth is in the pudding the truth is irrefutable and they shall have the truth and nothing but the truth so it's 290 liters vitreous enamel you get 80.7% savings over electric uh, standard electric system you get a COP of 5.181 it's massive uh, and you have COP um, of no, sorry you have it uh, GWP of 0.02 because we're using propane which is a very safe uh, refrigerant to be using you get a great warranty too um, this is my favorite unit it's the most efficient system in Australia it's a really good quality unit uh, and it's been updated recently so it looks really good it looks really good to me so you can provide this for $230 after ST we provide this we provide this for $230 after STC's and ESKIs for outdoor electric so uh, swap is currently in New South Wales and in Victoria, we can provide this from 1200 after VIX, S, S, after VIX, STCs, let's just say STCs, and solar VIX rebates for outdoor electric swap So that's rank number one. Whew. All right, that was a massive video. Um, that took like half an hour to do um, and many sleepless nights, but we're done. We made it. So here are my conclusions, and you have probably drawn the same ones. The register is full of misleading information. You may be compelled to think that a system you're getting is top of the range, but in reality, you're getting a significantly lower performing unit with a similar name. Uh, number two, also, it's not written down here, but um, you might think you're getting a good heat pump because the price is extremely high, but the actual savings of the heat pump are, are negligible and they're just very well branded. Uh, we're going to see that in our dishonorable uh, mention, so just stay tuned for the, for the last minutes. Probably going to start some fights. And the trade-off between getting a highly priced system and one from the government scheme is pretty clear. They're better, they're, they have better um, efficiencies and for $5,000 cheaper um, in most cases, it doesn't make any sense to, to pay for, for a, a heat pump. It, and some people think, oh, you know, like, and it makes sense because if I'm buying a laptop or something, you know, and a $1,000 laptop is obviously not gonna be as good as a $3,000 laptop. But this is not the case. It's not the case that you're paying more and you're getting a better product. Um, you might be getting better service, especially, I mean, obviously, Sandin and Reclaim can offer much better service if they're charging five to $6,000 a unit. That's why they charge that much for a unit. That's why their service is way better. Um, I believe we have really competitive and really good service, even at our price point. You can look at our reviews, even after this video. I'm gonna keep them as high as possible by providing the best possible service. 
That's what my aim is, to provide the, uh, to provide the best possible service and provide the most possible value to my customers. I don't care if we're providing Eco, Genica, uh, Emerald, whatever systems, I wanna expand our range. Uh, I just wanna make sure that we're able to serve as many people as possible. Um, so the pros of getting an expensive system, you may get an additional one year warranty, you may get an additional one or three extra warranties on the tank, um, and you may get slightly better service, but you'll be five to $6,000 more out of pocket and a worse, worse efficiency unit. Even if you have to pay to get the compressor you know, replaced or fixed and you have to pay for labor, you're not gonna be paying anywhere near $5,000 to $6,000 for uh, one of these government units. So it doesn't make any sense. In my opinion, the evidence is clear. Dishonorable mentions. All right, here we go. So these brands uh, have uh, claimed seasonal COPs which is a misleading figure as we've seen. Um, you can claim a COP of seven. I think I've seen seven uh, before, but yeah, you're gonna have a COP of seven if the ambient temperature is 50 degrees, you know, and it, it's already really hot. Your compressor's not gonna have to do a lot of work. So I put these mainly in because they're quite surprising because these brands are very expensive, um, but they actually don't perform very well. So Rim is one of them. Uh, rim is always thrown around. It's it's supposed to be a staple. Uh, I believe they're good at actually uh, making electric uh, hot water systems, but their heat pumps are not very good. Um, look up the reviews if you want. They're ranked 79th, and it, like in the register, they claim the COP was 4.5. The actual COP in the register is 3.546. Aquatech 109th. Um, they claim COP 4.25. Average standardized COP 3.322. ISTO is the same, uh, ranked 130, 103rd, 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 claim COP 4, uh, but the actual standardized COP was 3.322. Stable Ultron 132nd, 3.94 claim, 3.195 actual, and Abricus as well. Uh, I've heard some of these brands being touted as, as very, very good. Um, you can see that they're actually not not as high quality as you would think. Cool guys, that's my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun making it and I'm gonna be producing a lot more content, um, you know, maybe twice a week. Uh, if I say it, I'll have to make myself do it. If you wanna see any more videos, uh, making a commentary, a review of any system, um, any questions about a system, please leave a comment in the YouTube channel or you can message us at freehotwater.au on our Facebook or you can visit freehotwater.au. We would uh, love to make videos. Uh, I would love to make videos um, that are helpful. And we would also love to install your system. So if you head over to freehotwater.au, um, we'd love to help you out. You can just put in your uh, details. I'll show you, I'll even show you. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a helpful boy. All right, so, so you can go to uh, inquire now. You can put in your details. Uh, Select if your business or residential. You can select what sort of system you have, uh, whether it's outdoors, inside the roof garage. Uh, if you're based in one of our service areas, just click submit, and we would love to help you out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and thank you for watching. Bye.